Good morning, my dear students. This is your teacher Kiran. I hope you are staying safe at home with your mummies and daddies. Today is Tuesday, 21st of April, 2020. We have very interesting lessons for you today. So, are you ready to learn and enjoy? Let's start our class. We will start with our English lesson followed by some counting in maths. And at the end, it will be your favorite lesson, that is our story time. Dear parents, I hope the kids must have finished the worksheets from our last class. Please follow these instructions and help and guide your child in completing their tasks. Thank you. So my dear students, today we will learn about letter A. We will learn how to write it and its sound. Then we will read and join the letters to make a dinosaur. Then you will practice writing your names. Today we will practice letter S, which has the sound S. And do you remember the song of letter S? Let's sing together. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Sh, 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 sh. The snake is in the grass. Very good. Now let's practice writing the letter S. You will start from the top and go round, down and round and stop. Very nice. Now let's finish tracing all the letter S. My dear students, the first worksheet for today is for letter A. So what sound does the letter A makes? It makes a sound. A for an. A for aeroplane. A for alligator. You can make more words from a sound. So what letter is it? It is letter A and it makes a sound. So students, now all of you sing the Jolly Phonics song for letter A. So here we go. Well done students. So now we will learn how to write the letter A. Start from the top and make a curvy line reaching to the bottom. Next go to the start again and make a standing line going downwards. Yes. Now I want you to finish this page and try to write the letter A by yourself at the bottom. You can also look for the letter um, in your formation chart and follow the arrows to write the letter. Let's join the letters. My dear students, as you can see, on this page, there is an incomplete picture of a dinosaur. So what I want you to do, I want you to join the letters together by singing the ABC song. You can do it with a pencil or any other colored pencil. Friends, on this page, you are going to practice writing your name. And after writing your name on a paper, I want you to find objects around you that start with each letter of your name. 
you can ask your mommy or daddy to help you in completing this task good luck kids today in math we are going to practice counting and writing the numbers and then we will cut and paste the missing numbers how many my dear students on this page you can see pictures of different objects what you are going to do you will count the number of objects and write the number in the small box at the bottom okay now look at the first picture what do you see these are colored pencil boxes so let's count how many boxes do we have here 1 2 3 there are three boxes so you will write number 3 in the small box let's go to the next picture what do do you see in the picture markers yes so let's count how many markers do we have 1 and 2 there are two markers so you are going to write number 2 in the small box similarly you are going to count each uh, number of objects in the picture and write the number in the boxes given below cut and paste okay students on this page you can see numbers from 1 to 10 but some of the numbers are missing so what i want you to do I want you to cut the numbers written at the bottom of the page and paste them in the correct order. For example, you can see number 1. So what comes after number 1? Yes. Number 1 after number 1 comes number 2. So you will cut number 2 and paste it after number 1. Then you will go to the next number. the next number is number 3 so what comes after number 3 yes 1 2 3 and 4 so you're going to cut number 4 and paste it after number 3 so similarly you will cut and paste the missing numbers and finish this worksheet let's make a boat Dear students on this slide you can see a boat in a dotted line first you are going to color the boat by using colored pencils or crayons after that you are going to cut the boat on the dotted line with the help of a scissor again children be very careful while cutting and try to do it very slowly I will request all the mothers to stay with your child while they are doing this activity. After cutting the boat, I want you to paste it on a colored or white A4 sheet. So my dear students, now it's our fun time that is the story time. So the title of the story which we are going to read is Are we there yet? and it's written by t albert jenny and jimmy were twins and were they excited they had just completed kindergarten and because they did so well they were going to the big zoo in the city after they got into the family car's back seat mom checked their seat belts and dad said If everyone is ready let the journey begin they were off and headed to the big zoo in the city the big zoo in the city was a long way from home it wasn't long before jenny and jimmy were bored they were so excited and just wanted to see the animals even get some peanuts popcorns and soda but it was taking so long are we there yet asked jimmy 
No, his mom replied. It will be a little while. Why don't you and Jenny look out the window and count the pine trees? Jimmy looked at Jenny and then tried to look out the window. But they were too low in the seat to see anything. Jenny grumbled, Dad, we can't see out the window. Are we there yet? Yeah, are we there yet? Jimmy sang out. We are getting close. Mom chimed in. Why don't you both sing a song? That will help pass the time. Okay, Jenny said. Then she leaned over to Jimmy and whispered something in his ear. They both smiled and giggled a little as they faced the front of the car and began to sing. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we, we there, there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Their dad looked at their mom and said softly, I don't know about you, but I'm glad we are here. Then in a deep voice, he sang out, We have arrived. Jenny and Jimmy giggled. Jimmy and Jenny had such a fun day. They visited every animal, had fun in the petting zoo, and ate hot dogs, popcorns, and peanuts. Soon it was time to leave. Mom got their seat belts on and they were headed home. I hope they are tired and fall asleep, Dad whispered to Mom. Are we there yet? Jenny giggled in a soft voice. And that's the end of the story. Okay, my lovely students. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I wish you all the best and have a very nice day. Take care all. Bye-bye.